the hotel itself is history. You know, 248 years old, we still bake bread in an oven that was built in the early 1900s. But our customers have a modern day expectation of food that's of great quality, service that's of great quality. You know, we've kept up with the times. When you're here on property for three or four days, we want you to be able to find something that's completely different and unique in each restaurant. And there's all the talk about farm to table and the homestead. We had the farms here and on our property. We have local ranchers that are producing beef for us and that's gonna be a mainstay. What's great about the Omni Homestead is that we have diversity in all of our food and beverage outlets. The main dining room is very classical, a roaring 20s kind of a ballroom look to it. Classic European continental cuisine that the homestead was founded on. With Jefferson's Restaurant, we're going to a more modern contemporary steakhouse feel. The centerpiece of the whole dining room is the actual open kitchen where the guests can enjoy watching our chefs create their meals. But then you step across the street to Sam Snead's Tavern and you're in the old world hot springs. Maybe dining next to a, a local resident and eating chicken pot pie. So the opportunities are endless. The cuisine that we're bringing back to the homestead is very Virginia focused. It's an awesome responsibility to have to bring all of that culinary awareness back to this property where it all started. One of the things that I see at the homestead is great is a reconnection. And whether it's a reconnection to history or a reconnection to the past, or what I see in the resort is reconnection to family. The Omni Homestead's one of a kind.